Greetings and salutations my dearest friends, my name is Samantha and welcome back to Vlogmas. Today I'm going to be wrapping some Christmas presents, so let's just go ahead and create some Christmas boxes together for my friends. Hello, how are you? Welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Vlogmas, day 1000 it feels like. So today is going to be a little bit more of a chill video and I'm going to be packing Christmas boxes because I need to send these out literally right now if I want them to be sent to my friends before Christmas. I'm not wrapping any gifts for my family just yet. I have all their gifts like in the closet and I need to take inventory. This is going to be for my bookish friends. Okay, I pushed you a little further back so you can see what I'm doing. So we have four boxes in total to pack. I feel like here's the thing. All of these friends are bookish friends. I met them through booktube, bookstagram, book events, etc, etc. It's hard because they have amazing collections of books that I'm like, I don't always know what books they have. And I know like so many other people are going to be going onto their Amazon wish list. So I want to make sure like I'm not giving them book repeats. So I try to make the boxes a little more creative. So for this year's theme because we love a theme I think I'm gonna go with Christmas cookies like let me show you so this is just an example this is our um prototype if you will so let me show you so we have these cute little gingerbread clippers on the end and then inside is all of the baking goodies a frosting sprinkles a sugar cookie mix and then really cute cookie cutters some people got different cookie cutters like this one's a gingerbread but i think somebody else maybe got like a snowflake so this is like the base gift of just like Christmas cookies. I think of like Christmas themed gifts and not just books. Oh, this is so cute. This little gingerbread. And then, um, oh, okay. Here's another one. Oh, I think they do all have gingerbreads, but they're different gingerbreads. And then I also have these little spatulas and it says their name on it. Mama's helping me with a Cricut and like printed out their names and we put Mod Podge on here. So this one says Desiree's name. This one says Bestie because she's my bestie. And then it has this like cute little gnome. So that's like the base of the box. We have this really cute Christmas tree ornament. It says Merry Christmas Proud Booktuber 1222. So the year and then Proud Booktuber. It's at everyone Christmas ornaments. Um, but I saved a couple to throw in these boxes as well. Let's do Jessica's box first. I have to do some prep work, okay? So we have our empty Amazon boxes that we're going to be reusing. And then we have our Christmas Christmas cookie baskets with the little spatulas that say their name. Very cute. Okay, so this is Jessica's box. Guys, look at this. How adorable is this? Okay, this is Yahtzee. It's a board game, but it's a collector's edition of different board games that you put on your shelves and they're supposed to look like vintage books. Is this not the cutest gift for a book lover? Because like, Jessica's one of those people who has the most amazing collection. I know she gets sent a ton of books from authors and things like that. So, like, what do you get a book lover that has every book? A book board game. I know she loves puzzles and maybe she can play this, this with her family. This is Yahtzee. Um, I don't, I've never played Yahtzee before, but it's a vibe. Okay. Then we have... Two books in here that I've already wrapped. Put the books in here. I'm not a good wrapper, okay? Like, I'm really not. I use so much fucking tape, but it's fine. This wrapping paper is reversible. I got it from Costco, and it's like half Santa, and then half these, like, cute polka dots. The polka dots match the rest of the theme, so, yes. I need to get Christmas cards. That is one thing I forgot, but I think I have some left over. I sent out Christmas cards when I was sending out all of these bookish ornaments to my friends and i think i have some i do have some left over okay cute and i also have these little stickers okay all right okay awesome okay let's write some cards because that that's important i have these little cards right here they're a red it's like a red truck that classic red truck and a tree that says tis the season they stress every christmas i do i just want everything to look so perfect okay i have all my pens here 
Let me see if I can find a green one or a red one. Why don't I have green or red? Blue maybe? I feel like blue is Christmassy. But green and green, right here. Okay, perfect. See, it's the little details that matter. Do you guys send Christmas cards? We do. We actually take like family Christmas pictures and the whole thing, matching Christmas pajamas, and then we send out family Christmas pictures. I did send out Christmas cards this year as well. I bought these bookish ornaments off of Etsy from a really cool artist. And yeah, I feel like it's just a really nice thing to do because a lot of people don't send cards anymore. She is done. Put that over there. Okay, next I have to do a Secret Santa gift. So I did like the Secret Santa with a bunch of bookish friends. And so we need to wrap her gift, although her book is still coming in the mail. Amazon failed me with that. So look how cute this little wrapping is. My mom did it. It's a little squish. It's a sweater, a bookish sweater in here. And we wrapped it to make it look like a peppermint candy, kind of. Sort of. I also have some bookish tabs that match like the color scheme of the book that hopefully will come in the mail. Of course, we have our cookie sets and the little handle says her name. Okay, let's write her card. Did I spell her name right? Literally, when you ask me to spell something, I forget how to spell it. You could be like, spell blue. And I'm like, mm, I don't, what? I don't know how to spell suddenly. How do you spell secret? Is there an A? S E C R E A T? S E C R E T. No, I think. What? I told you. I spelled it wrong. Oh well. Time I'm signing these, I always put books with Samantha. Because I know there's like other Sams and Samanthas. I'm like, it's from me. But I also feel like it's slightly pretentious to sign with my Instagram handle. I don't know. All right, done with that note. I feel like the note takes the longest. Which um, sticker should we use for Cheyenne? I feel like we're gonna use this little mistletoe, maybe? This one right here? Next is, oh, I have someone who's just getting a little cookie set. Um, oh, and a book, where's their book? Oh, here's their book, right here. See? Okay, so that one's easy, cookie set and a book. Boom. I actually really inspired like this little cookie theme is our Cozy Mystery Book Club pick that we did for our Cozy Mystery Book Club that I host with Spencer. Oh my god, I have exactly four cards. Exactly four cards left over and that's how much I need. Perfect. I'll be home for Christmas. <laughs> have you guys seen that with Camila Cabello where she's singing and she's like, I'll be home for Christmas. It's a vibe. I saw a comment that was like, she's singing in cursive. And I'm like, y'all are wrong. Y'all are so wrong for that. But also, it's kind of funny. The situation, look at the mess before me. I'm real professional here, so I have my camera stacked on a pile of books. Cute. Yeah, so we have wrapping paper and pens and everything just scattered. A big old mess. And we just have Desiree's. So we have her little cookie basket. Very, very cute. Look at this adorable mug. My mom is obsessed with clear wrap, by the way. That's why everything is clear wrapped. Like, you literally cannot give anyone a present if it's not clear wrapped. It's just, I don't like the rules. Anyways, um, here we go. Look at these little gnomes. Oh my gosh, and it comes with socks too, so that's really cute. I'm drinking tea, but I know she does, so cool. Her books, obviously. I'm going to pray to the gods, the Christmas gods, that this, little cup does not break okay i'm always so nervous like shipping out cups because they always break anytime i order a cute cup from target 10 out of 10 it's gonna break so let's just hope i'm gonna wrap it in like this paper and it's also clear wrapped and then i'm gonna like shove it in between the books so hopefully it's protected. If this breaks, I'm sorry, Desiree. Okay, so I know that video was kind of short and not really about books, but 
I really enjoyed being productive with you guys and wrapping these final Christmas boxes that I really needed to send out. You guys have a really good holiday season and I know it can be stressful sometimes when you're, you know, stressed about money, about money or anything like that, but just remember, like, it doesn't have to be super extravagant. Thoughtful gifts mean so much more and even just, like, a little Christmas card can go a long way to someone just letting them know you're thinking about them during this holiday season. So, as always, thank you for taking time out of your day to spend time with me. It means the world to me. I hope you guys are all staying happy and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Bye!